Now y'all see the look on this man's face? That picture says it all. This man is grinning and shucking like he just hit the lottery. Like, oh, I can't believe I'm with this girl, Laura Harvey. Whatever her name is. Bro, he is the visual definition of a simp. And you know what? I don't like throwing that word around loosely. And half y'all don't really even know what the acronym means. But to define it as is stated is someone idolizing mediocre peaches. Mediocre punani, mediocre P with a cat at the end. That is what that is. And I told y'all when I did a video before, I said, Michael B. Jordan, you're going to be all right, bro. Now, this woman, to her credit, she is at the peak of her sexual market value. And she is out there. She's only 25, 26. So she still got some time. And to her credit, she ain't got no babies. So she's been smart enough. And I think she's learned the best from her mama. Her mama's a gold digger. She taught her all the tricks. And the fact of the matter is she has basically taken the time to just collect celebrity black males like Thanos collects rings. And that is her right. But that is damaging to a woman's reputation. And a lot of times I hear this whole like, oh, why are you even talking about it? Because I got daughters. Because I got sons. And the fact of the matter is I do not want them to emulate that behavior. I don't want my sons to fall and be manipulated by women like this. And like I said, Michael B. Jordan's 35. He had given this woman the world. He was ready to settle down. And she is still in her explorative phase. I guess she just wants to go around. But I knew this woman was for the streets when she dated Puff Daddy's son and then dated P. Diddy right after that. Now, shame on him. I wouldn't date somebody my son dated. But you know what? I knew he was just playing with her. Men like him don't even don't even take women like her seriously. But the fact of the matter is this. She has learned the tricks and she is basically like Kim Kardashian. She's basically living off the name of her stepdaddy. She's a pretty girl. She's attractive. But what else is there to her? There's no art. There's no skill. And at the end of the day, she is wasting the prime years in which she could have a great man running around from dude to dude. Now, there's a simp born every day. So there's going to be somebody that falls for this woman. And like I said, to her credit, she has not had a baby. Because a lot of pretty young things like that end up getting pregnant. And she's sitting there doing her thing. All respect to her. But at the end of the day, bro, y'all got to understand this. Women like that are not traditional. They're not going to be there for you when you're down. They're not trying to build anything with you. They're waiting at the finish line for winners. But I told y'all this, man. Michael B. Jordan is going to be 45 and going to be able to get a woman like her. If he so chooses. And hopefully he learned from this. Because, brothers, you don't usually get a woman when you're down. The modern woman steps in when you are on top of your game. This is why I tell y'all, stay on your purpose. And the saddest part about it is a lot of the simps, it doesn't mean it's a bad man. It just means it's a man that is not standing on his square. A man that is letting a woman manipulate him verbally and with her golden box. And we as men need to have control over our lustful desires and choose better women for the long haul. Because that girl's going to age. She's not going to look like that forever. And the man that gets with her, I'm sorry to say, she's going to probably end up divorcing him and taking half of what he got. But there's a sucker born every day. There's a simp man that's going to fall for this woman, and she knows that. But I say, man, brother, Michael B. Jordan, she did you a favor. Snowfall, she did you a favor. All right? She's for the streets. So let her be. And I say another thing, man, to dig a little deeper. I don't know who her daddy is. And I don't know what the connection was, but either one, he wasn't worth nothing or two, her mother weaponized her and kept her away. Because I don't know no woman that's going to take her stepdaddy's name unless there's some uh, situation where the father was not present or he's not hitting on two cents. So, hey, to each his own. But in the, in the Bible it says I come in the name of the father, not I come in the name of the stepfather. So, brothers. Take note and learn from things like this, brothers, because most of y'all out here, believe it or not, most of the good men in the world are simps because they're on their purpose. And whenever a woman comes along, she usually takes them off of it. There's very few women that are down in the trenches like uh, Ryan Coogler's wife, 
uh, came and helped him buy equipment for him to make Black Panther, for him to make movies. There are very few women that are investing. And it's about, uh, it's not about um, equal giving. It's about equal sacrifice. So brothers, find you a woman who's willing to give equal sacrifice. And sisters, value the man and, and put energy into him and, and don't run around being like this. This is not it. But respect to her. She's doing her thing, but her time is limited. And she'll see eventually. And it'll probably she'll probably win anyway. You know, but at the end of the day, you live and learn. This brother from Snowfall, you'll be fine. It was a quickie. And Michael B. Jordan, brother, I love the way you bounced back. Because she thought she was getting Killmonger, but by the time she was done with you, you was uh, Fruitville Station. And now you back on your game. And sometimes, usually it's when a woman has broken a man's heart that a man gets on his purpose for real and he learns from that lesson. And we learn it all our lives. You learn it when you're in grade school and a girl liked the boy, uh, a different boy next week than uh, she liked and she liked you the week before. It goes all the way through high school and college, but it hurts the most when you've established yourself and you actually want to take the woman seriously and build and have a family and, and, and really date with a purpose. But brothers, stay on your purpose, stop simping and stop idolizing these women just because they're pretty. Because pretty is just an exterior thing. And the way this woman's been moving is pretty ugly to me. So anyway, with that being said, brothers, be well, stay on your purpose. Don't get sidetracked and look for women that are about reciprocity, about valuing you as well. Don't always go where the beauty is because beauty is inside. Black man can be safe.